Today we're going to talk about the NFL trade deadline, which is a week away. Welcome into NFL Daily. Matthew Peterson here from Chat Sports. I'm going to go over five high-profile names that could be shopped over the next couple of days. And if you don't believe me, I just ask that you go back and look at the Christian McCaffrey trade or the Russell Wilson trade, because often we are told that person will never be traded. And then look at Tyreek Hill going to Miami. So let's check out five names that could be on the move. We're going to start things off in mile high with Bradley Chubb, a former first round pick that is on a two and five Broncos team that looks more like an 0 and seven Broncos team than a two and five team. So with Denver not playing well, might the Broncos decide to pivot a little bit, right? Retool. Now, the Broncos are reportedly taking calls on Bradley Chubb, who has acknowledged that he is in the center of some trade rumors right now. And with Chubb on the last year of his rookie deal, it's a very good sweet spot for a GM to move on from, get some picks back if they don't plan to give them a new contract or hit him with the franchise tag after this season. And so with Denver at 2-5, and five, like I mentioned, wouldn't be shocked if the Broncos are sellers at the NFL trade deadline. They play in London this Sunday. If they lose to the Jags, I expect some buttons to be pressed and some locker rooms to be shuffled. So Chubb so far this season after a couple disappointing years after his rookie season, he's been awesome so far for Denver. Five and a half sacks, 24 tackles, four tackles for loss, and two forced fumbles. He is having, he's on a path for a career year at a very good time in his career, entering the last year of his contract. Now, here are some Chubb trade destinations, five teams to watch for. What about the Philadelphia Eagles, right? They're 6-0. At that point, whenever you're trying to make a real postseason push, look at the Rams did last year. Did they need Von Miller? No, they had Leonard Floyd. They had Aaron Donald. They had pass rushers. But anytime you feel like you are one extra edge rusher away, it might be worth it. Now, the Rams, like I said, for the same reason for the Eagles, they learned last year, trade for edge rusher equals Super Bowl. Maybe they wash, rinse, and repeat. The Dolphins are another team to watch for. The Jets look like they might be frisky after trading for James Robinson. And then the Cardinals, they've got a lot of issues, but maybe they can see something long-term in Bradley Chubb because they don't have the best track record of, de of drafting defensive players. So maybe they just bypass the whole trade option and go, excuse me, bypass the whole draft option and go straight to trade. Which brings me to my first of five trade ideas on today's show. What if the Broncos get a first round pick, a fourth, for Bradley Chubb in a seventh? Tell me George Payton doesn't think about this long and hard. For a team that's two and five and a player on the last year of his contract, if he doesn't see a long term plan with him, he signed Randy Gregory last offseason. He drafted an edge rusher with his first selection in this past draft. Maybe he decides to move on from Chubb and get what he can for him. All right, we've got some more trades to look at here in just a moment. But shout out your team. Let me know in the comments section right now who your NFL team is. I love asking this question. Whenever I get the green light to come on NFL Daily, whenever Tom Downey and Mitchell Wrench are too busy to hang out with you guys, well, I love to see which fan base is the loudest and the proudest. Second trade idea. It is Jerry Judy sticking it with the Broncos. Two players that have been at the center of some trade buzz this past week. And Jerry Judy has not lived up to the expectations that the Broncos had laid out for him. Former first round pick has 1,700 career yards and five touchdowns in three seasons. He's just simply not shaping up to be a legitimate wide receiver one. I mean, if they're wide receiver Tim Patrick didn't get hurt in the preseason this year Judy might be wide receiver three this year so with the Broncos only having five picks in the 2023 NFL draft after the blockbuster Russell Wilson trade I believe they should retool right reset a little bit strategize and gather some more picks for this upcoming draft by moving on from Judy who's not on a path to get his fifth year option picked up after this season so you'd only have him for a year and a half more. Why not get a second round pick? But maybe the Green Bay Packers. Things are not going well in the frozen tundra. They just lost to the Commanders. They've lost a handful of straight games. Aaron Rodgers is frustrated and upset with this wide receiver room. Stop me if you've heard this before. 
and Jerry Judy for a second, maybe Rodgers can bring out the best in Judy. Because Russell Wilson and Brett Rippon, they're not doing it right now. All right, next trade idea is another AFC player. It is Kareem Hunt, the Cleveland Browns running back who requested a trade back in August. The Browns said, nope, you're staying right put. You're not going anywhere. Well, speaking of two and five teams, the Browns are two and five. And reports coming out of Berea, Ohio, is that they are taking calls on Kareem Hunt, another player on the last year of his deal. Makes a lot of sense for the Browns if they decide we're not going to be competitive for the rest of the season. Hunt's on the last year of his contract. And plus, could Hunt be the consolation prize of teams that missed out on Christian McCaffrey? Now, so far this season, Kareem Hunt has been, right, the second stew to Nick Chubb, the primary back in Cleveland. But we know Kareem Hunt is awesome. When he gets the football, he does great things with it. He doesn't have a high usage rate, which a team like the Bills could be in the market for because Buffalo is the juggernaut this year. And honestly, it's almost felt like it would be unfair if the Bills did pick, like did land a good pick between Zach Moss or Devin Singletary. So maybe they decide we don't have the current right, uh, running back stable group to really go on a true postseason run which sounds crazy to say out loud because they definitely do just with Josh Allen alone. But Kareem Hunt for a fourth, that might set the Bills over the top. And now they're like, we have no weaknesses. And for a fourth rounder, we'll do it. Watch us. Now, if a trade does go down here, as we saw with James Robinson just the other day, make sure you are subscribed to the channel because we are going to be breaking it down for you. And you will not want to miss out on more trade news, more trade rumors. So you know what? If you are subscribed, type me down in the comment section below. That way we can separate the real ones from the fake ones. All right, let's go to our next trade target. And that would be Brian Burns. I saved him for later in the video. Even though he's probably the sexiest name on the street right now for NFL trade rumors, because the Panthers reportedly turned down a trade offer that included multiple first round picks. Now, the Panthers have said they do not want to move on from Brian Burns, DJ Moore, or Derek Brown. Three first round picks of theirs. Was DJ Moore a first round pick or is he a second round pick? Now I'm forgetting. Anywho, Carolina. Are they trying to drive the price up? To me, is it just me, or does Brian Burns field two first-rounders? I mean, we'll look at his stats in a moment here. I don't really see why a team would offer two first-round picks for Brian Burns, a player who's never had more than 10 sacks in the season. Now, I'm not saying Brian Burns isn't good. He's really good, and you're going to get him entering his prime. And maybe because he's entering his prime, that's why you're going to get two first-round picks. But to me... I don't think a trade makes sense for two first-rounders for either side. One, let's say you're the Panthers. You trade Brian Burns. You get two first-rounders. What are you going to use that first-round pick on? Replacing Brian Burns. And who's to say you're going to be an absolute slam dunk of a pick? The NFL draft is a crapshoot. You hit on this player. doesn't make sense to trade him away only to just draft a replacement that you hope could be as good as Brian Burns. And then for another team to trade two first-rounders, that seems like a very high price for a player who, like I mentioned, those stats, you don't equate those stats with two first-round picks. That seems like it's asking too much. Maybe it's the Rams, who don't have a first-round pick next uh, this year, but the following two years, really saying F them picks? I don't think it goes down for two first-rounders, but if it were to, maybe it's the Eagles who pull the trigger on a trade that do send two first-round picks to Charlotte and a fourth-round pick for Brian Burns and a seventh-round pick coming back to the city of brotherly love. Because the Eagles are right there with the top teams in the NFL. And like the Rams earlier, this, uh, like the Rams last year, they showed you can never have too many edge rushers. And might this be the final piece, right, the cherry on top for the Eagles to go on a Super Bowl run? All right, we're going to get to more trade talk in just a moment. But over at Fanatics, They've got an awesome deal I want to tell you guys about. They've got a two-shirt combo waiting for all NFL fans for all 32 NFL teams. So head over to chatsports.com slash NFL shirt combo. That link's in the comments and the description of today's show. 
find your team and get two shirts on sale. That way you can have a rotation or better yet, you can be a bit sneaky with Christmas coming around the corner, the holiday season almost here. You can get two shirts and then separate them and boom, that's two Christmas presents for your siblings, your parents, whatever it may be. Save some money, but also rep your team in style over at NF- uh, chatsports.com slash NFL shirt combo. All right, my fifth and final potential trade to watch for is Robert Quinn, the Chicago Bears pass rusher who has not gotten off to a phenomenal start this season compared to what he did last year when he set the Chicago Bears single season franchise record with 18 and a half sacks. But the Bears have been rumored to be taking calls for Robert Quinn. I know they just beat the New England Patriots on Monday Night Football. But does anyone think the Bears are about to go on a run and make a big postseason push? Probably not. So with a new GM in town like Ryan Poles, who believes to build through the draft, I could see them making a move and moving on from Robert Quinn. Plus, they've got two young guys they really like. And Dominique Robinson, a rookie, and Travis Gibson, who's sort of been in the shadows of Khalil Mack and Robert Quinn. And at 32 years old, it would make some sense to move on from a veteran player. Now, Robert Quinn was awesome last year, right? 18 and a half sacks, 17 tackles for loss. But this year, haven't seen the same production. I'm not saying Robert Quinn's been bad this year. He's been good at a lot of stuff you don't see on the stat sheet, right? The hurries, the pressures, that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, one sack, that's going to stand out. And I wonder what the Bears could have gotten if they traded him back and say, May, June, or July compared to midseason now when he's got just one sack compared to his 18 and a half altogether last year. Now, here's a trade idea I've got for you guys here, which sends Robert Quinn to the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs, another team that are right there with the Super Bowl contenders and may feel we can't have too many pass rushers because in this day and age, if you can't stop the quarterback through the air, you got to get to him on the ground. And having a deep rotation, Kansas City last year traded for Melvin Ingram, and that did them wonders. Maybe they decide to go the same route by bringing Robert Quinn from Chicago for just a fourth-round pick. Doesn't seem like a very big asking price for KC to pull off. Now, before I let you guys go, one final question I want to ask you guys, and I want to bring on one of the newest members of the Chat Sports family, Nick Roloff, with your trade idea. So let me know what your trade idea is down in the comments. I gave you guys five. Nick, to send us packing, what is your trade idea? We had the Packers trading for Jerry Judy. What if they traded for a cheaper wide receiver in Pittsburgh? Chase Claypool fits the deep threat. I like that. Allows Lazard to play yep. over the middle. I feel like Claypool might fit the system. He's cheaper. I think the Packers go for that one. I like Chase Claypool. That could make some sense right there. All right. You got my trade ideas. You got Nick Roloff's trade ideas. Let me know what your trade ideas down below in the comments. I'll be looking.